Mr. Wayne start her uh, this 3D Max software. So, so let's start with uh, the basic. That today we are going to uh, draw different shapes using the tools. Okay? So here in this uh, software, you can see on this side you can see here this is known as different types of drawing tools okay so this is for 3d geometry and this is for shapes so shapes are nothing but you can draw line rectangle circle arc uh, text okay so first i'll do one thing we'll draw one rectangle okay? So this is the rectangle. You can change the dimensions here. Suppose you want to uh, make it 40, then I want to make this 90. So here you can see the rectangle. So suppose you want to make a fillet of 10. So here you can see this becomes uh, like smooth corners. So if you want to make this 3D, you just go here, go to this modify tool, then there is a command called extrudes type E and this one. Okay. So here you can uh, change the width. So suppose I want 10. So here you will get the width. Suppose I want 40. So here you can change the width of the object. Okay. So this is uh, the basic rectangle. Let's say. Suppose I want to draw a text. Okay. So you can change the thing here. You can type your own. Suppose I want to type 3D model. Okay. So here you can see. So suppose you want to make this as 3D, then extrude. Okay. So here you can see. This is the button you can rotate the model using this, and this is your view. Okay. Then Alt W will. Alt W will increase the size. There are four windows you can see. There are four windows. This one is top frame. This is where this is left hand side. This is front side, and this is perspective. Okay. So according to your requirements, you can change this. Suppose you want to make it perspective okay so similarly you can make it wireframe or anything realistic so it will show you like this suppose you want to uh, you don't want this grid then there is a grid button it's just type grid z Z will, if you will press Z, it will uh, activate the, your grid or you can switch off the grid also. Here also I will do the same thing. Suppose this is a realistic model, I want to change it into wireframe or shade or whatever. So using this you can change the type. So suppose you want to move this object, you just go here, select the object, go here, and see here, this a this a y mark is become yellow. That means you can move in y direction only. Suppose you want to move this object in x direction, just activate this and move your mouse. Suppose I want to move this up or down you can see you can move up or down okay 
so these are the basic 3d models you using your 2d so now here you can see there is there are a few other things also like box so for box what i'll do you can do draw in perspective view you can draw in front view or you can draw in left view whatever you want or wherever you want you just press then drag your button then drag other side so it will create the box if you want to zoom everything then you press z so z will zoom all the things whatever you have selected so here here also you can using this you can zoom you can zoom whatever you want so this zoom button is there so here you can see if you will press then it will appear a, you will see a one eye so you can change the zoom level according to your need or you can zoom using this okay so there are lot of options how to zoom so also you can rotate the middle button rotating button of the of your mouse and it will uh, zoom your object so this is box okay so whatever you if you want to modify the size of the box you just go here you can change the dimension suppose i want 150 then i want 300 then i want 200 okay so this is the box similarly if you want to draw a cone you just press here then drag this is the base point base point then this is the cylinder and whatever you want you just put it suppose i want this kind of cone okay. so if you want to modify these things you can modify first radius is 100 suppose second radius i want to make it 20 then height of the cone is 300 okay then you can change the this grid also grid size suppose i want six numbers of uh, segments then i want uh, 10 one cap then sides i want more 50 okay so it will be more smooth cap segment also you can change here you can see cap segment is what this segmented thing so i want two suppose here you can see only two here you can see okay so according to your requirements you can choose whatever you want Suppose I want to make this change. Suppose I want 20 degree, 20 degree radius, and I want 50 degree here or 100 degree here. Now you can see this is like a cone of ice cream. Okay. So if you not see like this object, you will you cannot see the uh, segments. Okay. Suppose I want to make one sphere. You just click here. Okay. I want the sphere here. Okay. Like this. I want to make a ice cone. So this. Here you can see. So this dimensions also you can change. Suppose I want 90. 90 then this segment i want 64 more smooth then here i want to move it to the left okay see this seems like a ice cream okay okay is it okay so this is the way how you can draw different kinds of Sips.
like uh, sphere on the detail then a cylinder so I want one cylinder you just drag it according to your need or you can change it later also suppose I want this just click over here this is done so I want to modify it I want radius of 50 then length of 200 so this is this is under this so you have to move it or rotate this so that you can see so this is done so if you want to move this up you just click over here and change according to the requirements I want to put one stroke in the thing so if you want to rotate this object you can rotate you just select the object and you select the axis of rotation or you can select or you can click over here okay so x is 90 degree so I want to make it 0 degree okay so radius I want to make it 10 because I want to put this straw over here so you just select this select this select this so I want to put just inside of it so here you can see so I want to put these things in on a table type kind of thing so I'll make it thousand no, it's not required ten then thousand okay. and thousand so suppose I want to put this on the table you just select every everything then move it down so it seems like a it seems it is on the table so again I want to make some other kind of object torus torus I think everyone has, everyone knows it well so torus is nothing but two circles so suppose I want to put this over this so if you want to modify it you can modify it and make it 90 and this radius I will make it uh, 30 then segment 24 it's okay right is also okay so second radius 2 is the thickness okay so I will make it 10 so so here you can see okay. so this is like a cone then teapot also is there it is there you can make your own teapot suppose I want to put on the board okay. so I will make the size a little smaller 200 okay. like this then plan is there then pyramid is also there Suppose I want to make a pyramid like this, okay. then a lot of other parameters, other components also are there like hedra. So this is hedra. If you want to modify, you can modify it, all the parameters in modify tool, then you can L extent so L extent okay. these are the like your 
extra drawing tools which can be drawn easily using these tools okay then prism is also there so prism is like this then this this is the prism all of you know then other things are there compound object so here it is not i'll tell you later on body object is also there body utility so this is actually these are the basic modifying tools okay so this is not required ac object i'll go to this so here you can draw different kinds of trees just you have to press select okay then it will look odd now when you will render it so you can see using f8 sorry f9 so here you can see the tree after rendering you can see the tree okay so there are different kinds of tree also you can change the dimension according to your uh, requirements suppose i want to make it 800 and seats i only need only 50 okay so here you can see okay. then in ac there is another option called rail so you can directly draw the rail like this draw the rail like this here you can see so again one one is also there that means you need not to make all the 3d only suppose i want to make this yes okay let's see quite difficult and go into my I'll not say this then file go to this button new don't not say well this 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 okay then so I want to change the dimension just click here okay before drawing one actually we have to change this parameters which I want to make 10 okay and height i want to make 300 or 3000 now we draw it so area is quite big actually that's why it's not coming actually you have to have a profile taking and to okay, you can send it hundred I want to make then height I want to make um, three thousand so I have to make that this way so according to your requirements you can change the dimension So this, this actually these are not that important these things so dynamic object is also there like spring suppose I want to draw one spring I want to make it more clear 
it my trans is okay diameter i want to make it uh, 100 okay then zoom and it is quite small so i'll make it 1000 then is also quite small then height height is quite high okay. hundred thousand okay. so here you can see then tons how many tons you want I suppose I want 20 tons suppose I want five tons okay. so here you can see this looks like a spring so if you want to modify it again you just go here and change the properties like damper is also there damper is like this i think everyone used to know what is the how does it work so suppose i want to make it 50 then height i want to make 200 uh, main radius i want to make it 200 so here you can see and also there are a lot of other options available this looks like a bike damper okay. so these are the basic objects you can draw using 3d max for today i will stop it here and in next class we will go for modifying tools okay so you just go see the video and practice yourself